fundamental problem with the porn industry is there's a massive disconnect between the people who are consuming and the people who are producing. Very few people pay for adult entertainment. And it's not because they wouldn't. People said they wouldn't pay for music, for movies, for TV shows. And now we all have Netflix, iTunes, we pay for subscriptions. With porn, there's no real option to pay for it. Either using a tube site or you're looking at a 30 buck subscription for something that's not that great. Once you have a complete connection between the producers and the consumers, you'll start to see less middlemen, so higher margins, and then also the producers can start to respond to what's been requested and what's been purchased, which will make a very big change. And blockchain is the perfect way to do that, and cryptocurrencies. Most banks or institutions won't bank adult companies, which means you've got a few people who are providing those payment gateways, and if you don't work with those payment gateways, then there's no other way to receive these funds. So if I wanted to go out there and receive funds as someone who's producing adult content, there's no real way for me to collect credit card payments. I need to go and distribute it through another site, which means there's sort of a, an ogolopoly on that, or there's a, a situation where people are going to these tube sites and consuming it there. And if they're going to the tube sites, then you need to be one of the sites that's producing mass amounts of porn at a very cheap rate. Adult performers don't make very much. They might make 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks a day at their peak. With so little money going to the producers and all these people in the middle trying to take their cut, there's just not much room left to be able to produce better content.